invented group projects is by far the worst human being on the planet, or at least in the top 10. And this project is guaranteed to be the absolute worst because I got paired with the most arrogant, pretentious, and annoying guy in my class. What gods did I piss off to have to work with Peter Hayden on this project? Earlier this week, Professor Williams had the stellar idea of pairing together people from our interpersonal communications class to talk about the main tenets of communication. And really, Peter could do with less communication. He hasn't shut up since he found out we were working on this project together. Katie Bug, my most favorite speech partner. Are you ready to write the best speech in the history of speeches? The one that will set the curve for all future speeches in this class. Wow, this, uh, this futon. It's not what I was expecting. Thought someone with your resources would be able to put a little bit more into her decor. Well, if you don't like my futon, you can buy me a new one. And second of all, Katie Bug, I don't do cutesy nicknames, and neither will you for the duration of the project. Let's just get this over with. So the main tenants are... You have to be kidding me. A name like that has to fit a beauty like yourself. No, not plain Kate, but I've heard that you're the most beautiful Kate in the entire school, and I'll fight anyone who says anything otherwise. Are you even serious right now? Did you show up drunk to the study session? Like, where do you even buy alcohol this early in the morning? If you're not going to take this seriously, you can just leave. I will do this project myself. Do I look stupid to you? Well? <laughs> Give me some credit. It's 10 a.m. I don't drink at 10 a.m. This is 100% pure Peter. I can't help if I'm moved by your presence. I would rather you move yourself further away. Like, maybe to the next continent. Oh, well. This is rather sudden, but I'd love to travel the world with you. But just say the destination and I'm there. My sister is more of a traveler. Maybe you should talk to her. I've made some preliminary notes. That's, there's something I'm wondering about. Is it about the project? Because otherwise... Well, how, why does everyone and their brother want to date Bianca? It seems ridiculous for to cause so much fuss for one girl. We're just as confused as you are. I had another thing I'm wondering about. How do you have enough time to read all these books? I mean, I enjoy a good Byron poem as much as the next guy, but you have a collection that rivals the Library of Alexandria. Well, I like to read. I like meeting new people and seeing new places without leaving the comfort of my home. Well said. You should hear what people say about you. I really could care less what people say about me. I don't subscribe to gossip. And really, if you're here to get your fill of mean old Kate stories, there's the door. I am here to write the most fascinating speech on active listening with my interesting, if rough, companion. And that's what I intend to do. You won't scare me away. Oh wait, you haven't shut up since you got here. I think most of that speech is going to be you showing the audience what not to do. Like 60%. Like 80%. You're one to talk. Well, I guess we both have some studying to do.